Today in Engineering Newswire, we're hovering over land and sea in the Navy's newest ship to shore connector, 3D printing a comfortable dress and giving a dog the opportunity to run free for the first time. Production has started on the Navy's newest hovercraft. Designed to haul vehicles, equipment, and supplies at land and at sea, the ship-to-shore connectors are slated for completion in 2017. While the Navy ultimately plans to buy 72 crafts, the contract, worth a whopping $212 million for just the test craft, calls for another $358 million if eight production crafts are made by 2020. Workers are currently making the aluminum hull for a test and training model. The crafts are being manufactured to replace the Navy's current LCACs, short for Landing Craft Air Cushion. And while they might not have as cool of a name, the new craft will be able to carry 60 tons of cargo, 14 more than their predecessor, and travel at 35 knots over two feet of waves. They will also feature more efficient engines, composite materials instead of metal for many of the parts, and improved communication and computer systems. Those who are familiar with attempts at 3D printed fashion know that though wearable art can be quite beautiful, it is rarely ever comfortable. Well, the Nervous System, a design studio based in Somerville, Massachusetts, is hoping to change that. They recently unveiled a wearable, movable plastic dress that was 3D printed by Shapeways in New York City. Nervous System's sleeveless mid-length dress hangs naturally on the body and flows as if it was made from fabric. Even more incredible, the designers Jessica Rosenkranz and Jesse Lewis Rosenberg printed the dress in one piece. There was no assembly required. After 44 hours of printing on an industrial 3D printer, technicians removed the dusty piece of non-toxic nylon plastic and cleaned it up. In all, the dress contains 2,279 triangular panels interconnected by 3,316 hinges. About three years ago, Nervous System announced the development of a novel 4D printing system called Kinematics. The Kinematics software initially develops a 3D garment model in a CAD program based off of a body scan. Kinematics then breaks the model down into tessellated triangular segments of varying sizes. Designers can adjust the quantity, size, and placement of the triangles through use of a JavaScript-based design tool. Algorithms add the hinges to the triangles and compress the design into as small a shape as possible, often reducing the volume size by 85%. Costing around $3,000 each, Nervous System isn't quite ready to commercialize yet. However, once they bring the price down, we may start seeing these wearable, movable, 3D printed dresses in stores. Also in 3D printing this week, Derby the dog was able to run free for the first time thanks to new 3D printed prosthetics. Data of Derby's forearms and 3D scan data of a cup design were used to create the 3D design, and a digital sculpting platform was used to make sure the prosthetics fit correctly. 3D System plans on fitting Derby with progressively longer legs until he reaches his optimal height. The work is ongoing, but the team is already about to print the fourth version of the prosthetics. Look at them go! Run free. You got it. Go Derby. Do you have your ideas? Comment below and we'll cover them in the upcoming episode. For the PD&D channel, I'm Melissa Fossbender and this has been your Engineering Newswire.